one thing that you know even affects my family is you know choice deniability hey guys let's go out to eat and you get five people involved or ten people involved you end up a lot of times not going anywhere because there's one or two people who are like well I don't want to go there so you do a food hall everybody shows up everybody gets what they want everybody meets at a, at a table and sits down and has fun so it's more of that kind of environment so when you're anticipating clientele how much do you think it's going to be people living in the neighborhood and you're hoping to capture people coming from the old Salem, but have you gotten an idea of what kind of mix you think you'll get? Well, the, the food hall clientele tends to be a younger crowd. Um, you've got a lot of it tends to be um, recent grads to people in college to high school and then all the way up to, you know, I guess you'd say the hipster crowd is, a, is another, you know, that age group is a primary focus. So you have that here. You've got uh, University School of the Arts, you got Winston State, you got the uh, Christian Bible College, you got Old Salem College, you got Wake Med. So you have the educated, you know, young educated people. And then you have the West Salem population, the Washington Park population, you have the proximity to downtown population. I mean, you can, it's one and a half miles to the Greenway, to the 421 from here. So it will be, it's, it is locally driven. We do want to cater to the local population and we, you can get here really easily off the freeway, you know, shoot right down Marshall Street. Um, so it is it is built, you know, we want to do it for Winston. You know, we think it will help move the needle for Winston. And when did you come up with the idea and you and your investors that this made sense? Well, I like old buildings. Um, one thing when I've, when I've gone to food halls across, or when I go to food centric developments or food halls, I, I found that the historic buildings have a sense of space that people want to be there, they want to go there, they find it's a place that they enjoy being at. So very few buildings can kind of provide that kind of aesthetic and new buildings really struggle, you know, to provide that to me. They kind of feel cold and, and then it turns noisy. So I like, uh, there's very few that do that. Uh, and this is probably the, one of the last ones available. And really on this side of town, it probably is the one available um, to do it. And this is, you're talking about how much square footage do you think you'll be able to get out of it in terms of use? Uh, well, it's 20, we're still, we've measured, we, I've had it all measured because the drawings were so old and bad, but it's looking, it's right about 29,500 square feet okay. of first and second story space. Okay. And then how much do you think you'll actually use in terms of food, retail, whatever the mixed use might be? Oh, uh, well, it could be all of it, but we could do office on the second story. Okay. So on the office, the second story represents about eight or nine. Okay. So the rest is between this building and this building. And then the first floor of what I call the T which is, you know, starts from here and goes from there and, and, and goes to that concrete wall. The over chronological there. order is the permitting, is the historic tax credit, all that has to come first before you really start investing or you, you're waiting for Old Salem to end its lease or yeah. how's it going to work? It is a little bit of a, you know, shell game. So we, you, you really can't start any significant work until you at least prep your historic application. So actually next week we're starting our application process with with the thousand pictures that it requires to submit you need to take a picture from every angle of every space so once you get that done then we can start work but that also starts the clock to the work of when you can qualify for it so all we they've obviously we've done all that tree work across the front you couldn't see the front of that we're allowed to do that because it's hard to do the application and show all the historical features if you can't see it so we're allowed to do that but so once we start the pictures, we start the draft of the application, then we're gonna start fixing the project. So we're gonna start fixing the roof, fixing the windows, working on the deferred maintenance side of things, uh, fixing the, uh, the tile roof. There's a lot of just deferred maintenance that we have to fix. So that'll be the first thing. And we can do that in conjunction with Old Salem occupying the space. That doesn't affect us. We'll also even start you know, doing new roofs through that process. So, um, out all at the same time that we're space planning everything we've got uh 3d measure 3d schematics going on so we can show mark people the potential of what it could be and we'll do we're doing interior designs for potential food halls potentially how we carve it up egress for the second story all the stuff we need to do to make it meet uh, current building codes for multiple tenants and then which kind of tracks credits are you getting because i know that they've, they've kind of ebbed and flowed over the last seven or eight years well since it's a store we will get uh, Sorry, guys. <laughs> <Go on. laughs>